the most read 10th grade books in our school. The Catcher in the Rye is the most read 10th grade book, and it, it seems to be a love it or hate it book. Uh, people have told me that this is the one book they read in high school that they truly connected to and truly felt something about. Other people have told me they just can't stand it. Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl. The title seems to tell it all. The Golden Compass is a fantasy book. Uh, if you've seen the movie, it's uh, not done justice at all by the movie. The Third Man, I'm told that the first chapter is rather confusing, but once you get over that short first chapter, uh, it's a fairly easy read. This man has a friend who offers him a job in Austria uh, right after World War II. Uh, so he goes to take this job, but only to arrive to find out that his friend has been killed. He thinks the friend has been murdered, uh, so he wants to look into it. Uh, My Sister's Keeper is the story of a family that had a daughter with some medical problems, so they have another daughter so that the second daughter can donate uh, materials, biological materials, to keep the first sister alive. The Two Towers is the continuation of the Fellowship of the Rings. War of the Worlds, this is the original uh, story of the Martian invasion during the 1890s. The Illustrated Man is uh, fantasy and science fiction stories that are all linked together. The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. This is the original story of the man who's actually invisible, not the later story of a man who just feels like he's invisible. Uh, the Eye of the Needle is World War II spy thriller. The main characters are the German spy who discovers some uh, very important information while in Britain and is attempting to escape Britain to bring that information to the Nazis. And of course, the uh, policeman who's trying to stop him. The Pearl by John Steinbeck. Uh, it's about uh, Mexican pearl divers. The Planet of Exile, a science fiction story by Ursula Le Guin. Um, Silence of the Lambs, made famous by the movie. The Sun Also Rises, uh, takes place uh, immediately after World War II in Spain, has to do with uh, bullfighting. The Time Machine, this is the original H.G. Wells Time Machine. Water for Elephants, has to set in a circus and has to do with the characters in the circus and the abuse of elephants. Ring World is a fun, uh, rollicking adventure, a science fiction story. If you're into uh, that, go for that one. Born on a Blue Day is the story of an Asperger's uh, kid whose mind works extremely different than most people's. Adrift, uh, this is the story of a man who was, uh, the true story of a man who's lost at sea for about 70 days. Uh, Slaughterhouse Five is a character who is involuntarily time traveling back to World War II. The pilot's wife, uh, his, the pilot dies and the wife begins to uh, unravel the mysteries that the pilot has kept all his life. The Roundhouse, uh, Native American reservation. The main character's mother is raped and almost killed, and he begins to investigate that. Uh, Three Cups of Tea was originally published as nonfiction. It has since been revealed to be a novel. It takes place in Himalayas. Uh, and the man who's the main character is uh, delivering humanitarian assistance to people in the Himalayas. The City of Illusions is a far future science fiction story uh, where the world, the Earth, has been taken over by aliens and uh, this main character is seeking to overthrow them. They, they have mental powers to create illusions. So, 
keep on reading.